Hi, this is Tony Price for ChaseTheBracelet.com. You can uh, also visit us at ctb.tv, and uh, we uh, run a live internet show. And last uh, last season we had video, and this season we are going to be using RFID. Most of the uh, things you see on the table there are RFID antennas. We are using special cards that um, have an RFID antenna in them uh, that give off a frequency. Each card is individually uh, run through the um, the computer remembers what each card is and uh, it was a setup process that we had to do. Um, let me see. That is the uh, control board and uh, around the table are ten different antennae for each player. Um, and each one are marked. So for example, that's the sixth player. We also have a muck pile on each side. So on both sides of the table are the mucks. And then we have three antennas in the center and uh, these read the flop, turn, and river. Uh, you can place the cards on any one of them and it, it, it knows uh, what card, like if it hits one of these antennae, it's, um, it's going to be part of the uh, flop turner river. Uh, on top of that, the software also allows for four USB cameras. We got a 9000 series Logitech uh, netbook or net cam. So around the table are four separate videos. When we build our actual table, we will not be building these into the table itself, but standalone because uh, when you move the table, we don't want movement uh, of the player. We're going to be working around that and coming out with the best uh, solution for that. But that is that is the complete setup. Um, all cables, all wires are connected, and if you can see it, and I hope you can, should be able to. I'm going to try and get in there good enough. There is a red light that goes around. Uh, approximately every two seconds it reads each antenna so it uh, that's how it knows. So you actually you gotta go a little bit slow in order to uh, have the cards read correctly. The uh, four spots, the two on both sides, those are the uh, connections for the USB cameras. There's a power source connected to it and a USB out that goes to the computer. And the uh, deck of USB cards are really no thicker than, maybe a little bit thicker, but really no thicker than a um, regular deck of cards. And then on top of that, uh, RFID cards, we will be, each one of these is marked with people's names that um, we're getting ready for the show, so they're going to have the names. And when we're done with these, we're going to actually have them uh, printed like this. So like, uh, let's get, make sure we don't get any light in there. So the cards will actually look like that. So when, when people sit down, they'll be able to put those in front of them. And uh, with another design that we'd come out with, um, it's not final yet. We're still in the design stages for the new, uh, for the new website and for all the, everything involved. Uh, we actually are going to be printing our own tabletop uh, with an inkjet printer. Uh, we have a source for that and so um, if you can hop on Facebook type in chase the bracelet and like us to keep up on what we're doing and what's uh, what's next for us so there is a general overview of what we're doing uh, I do have the computer attached and if you I'm actually going to make the screen bigger just by double clicking on it. If you can see, that's me. Um, we are still learning the whole process, so it, it's a little choppy. Not sure if that's normal for uh, what we're seeing and it's recording properly, uh, but the software does record the show as we do it. It can live, broadca live broadcast uh, streaming video, and um, 
So let's see. Uh, what I'm going to do, I will. The first thing I'll do is I'm just going to do a very simple test, and I'm going to randomly choose uh, Missy and Suited Dan. So I'm going to grab these two cards. I'm going to pretend that they are uh, heads up, and that their seats are um, seat uh, seat one and seat two. You don't actually. I'm going to do seat one and seat ten. So I'm going to take. Suited Dan's card, place it on the uh, RFID antenna number one, and then Missy on RFID antenna 10. And now the computer, which I had set up previously in uh, the software setup, now knows that they are at those two seats. So now I'm going to take cards. I've already shuffled them, but I just wanted them to be random. And I'm going to deal out. Uh, t two to each uh, player, so, and I'm going to turn them up. So seven of spades, and Missy, ace of clubs. Now nothing has shown up yet on the video, but as soon as the second card hits, seven of diamonds, it should. Not yet. Eight of clubs. So now, actually, I have not done anything. The, the computer has actually already figured out. So we've got suited Dan with pocket sevens, Missy with an ace, eight of clubs. If you can read the percentages, 54% for suited Dan, 46% for Missy. So we will Pretend burn, flop one, two, three, which are four of hearts, four of clubs, six of hearts, and up here on the screen, it actually states exactly what I just said, four of, um, four of clubs, seven of hearts, six of hearts. We'll go back, take the next card, the turn. I'll just put on this. Six of spades, which actually, oh, I forgot to show the percentages, but they were up there. It actually, the six of spades is up there. The um, percentages have gone away, and there's a check mark by suited Dan's name. So he is guaranteed to win as long as he doesn't fold. And the river. King of Spades. Now I could have put those on any of the three antennas. I, I, from what I can tell, I wouldn't recommend putting more than two cards on any one. Um, I, I'm not sure, but uh, I'm not sure what the software is capable of. We're, we're going to push its limits, though. So the entire f uh, board is up. Gives the names, software, and it's live. That's me shaking my hand. And then let's say that the cards came out. Missy loses. Put them on the muck. It actually takes the software, says the fold and the win. And then while we're doing this, I'm actually going to take the pocket sevens. And as soon as those hit the muck, this is what happens. makes it go away. So we will be doing some live recording and demonstrations. Uh, we have it all set up to do that. And uh, that is the setup for chasethebracelet.com. Uh, we are, we internet broadcast live poker and it will be every Sunday night. If you can jump on your Facebook and like us, that would be a great way to keep informed and check back on the website chasethebracelet.com where you do see the absolutely fantastic uh, uh, bracelet that we have designed for our show and that was for first season second season is coming up and that is that it will be being designed while that's going on and that's it uh, thank you very much 
uh, if you are interested in purchasing any of this, uh, give us a give us an email. Um, I don't sell just the hardware. I will be selling complete uh, solutions. So just uh, contact us with uh, with that. We can put a quote together. And uh, actually, we've had four people that have uh, we've quoted for international shipping. So uh, it's uh, it's it's going to be cool. We're going to have a great show and. Uh, and if you want to do it too, you're more than welcome to. We'll help you out. Thank you for watching.